Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aaron Cohen. I would like to thank you for joining us for another session of the Dabanis Operative Ground Rounds, which will discuss technical nuances for microvascular decompression surgery for trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, we have Dr. Peter Genera as our discussant, who will review uh, our presentation and my surgical videos. Thank you. Well, Peter, thank you again for joining us. We really do appreciate your thoughts about uh, MVD and your experience in terms of enriching the presentation uh, today. Um, this is the uh, disclosures for uh, our participants, none of which interferes uh, with the presentation content today. Trigeminal neuralgia affects the patients in many ways, uh, causing a very disabling uh, pain. And as you can see in this picture, which is very well illustrating, the amount of expectations their patients have and how they uh, sort of uh, always worry about when the next pain would occur. This is uh, the first picture that we could find at Yale University that Harvey Cushing took from one of his patients who was suffering from tic rue, again, uh, illustrating the intense pain that the patient is suffering. That's in your book, and I think it's the only trigeminal neuralgia patient in your book, if I, if I read it correctly. It, it is correct. Thank you, Peter. This is a hand-drawn sketch uh, from um, Harvey Cushing himself, again, showing a right-sided avulsion, ganglion avulsion for uh, trigeminal neuralgia. And that was found, of course, to be not necessary. But... Yes, thank you. Um, trigeminal neuralgia is a relatively easy pain to diagnose. Uh, MVD has been one of the most satisfying operations I have performed, and it, the anatomy is really so pleasing to the surgeon and it's a relatively short and efficient procedure. The microsurgical environment is very much bloodless. And most importantly, the patients do very well and are thankful. As trigeminal neuralgia is one of the worst pains humans have been afflicted with, really relieving the pain is really one of the most satisfying parts of neurosurgery. And the procedure in experienced hand is associated with minimal side effects. Our patients usually are in one night, sometimes two. Morning patients go home the next afternoon. The afternoon patients the following morning. Thank you. Feel better. If we get rid of their pain, they feel wonderful. I agree. Trigeminal neuralgia, as we all know, isolated to three division of the nerve. It's convulsive usually. It has its cutaneous triggers, including oral and skin triggers. And it responds to Tegretol and antiepileptic medications. And this is actually a good prognostic factor, both to surgery, uh, for surgery to be effective, as well as to diagnose the typical trigeminal neuralgia if the patient responds to Tegretol and Neurontin favorably. One nuance is that the character of the pain may change with time, especially use of neuropathic pain medications and percutaneous procedures, and therefore a detailed history taking is important to realize what was the character of the pain at the initial stage of the pain and where the pain initially started. Uh, may I comment on that? The, the, uh, the nerve clinically gets stretched by, by arteries, especially that may give you constant pain. If, if you have constant burning pain, you cut off the mountain peaks, you increase, increase the drug, it will often get rid of that pain. Thank you. But then they can't tolerate it, which is one of our common indications for needing an operation. Thank you. And patients who have uh, very much predominantly facial numbness and have burning pain and neuropathic pain obviously are not good candidates for surgical intervention. Many of these patients uh, have a nerve that's been injured, and we depend with microvascular compression on the nerve to heal itself. Yes. And the others are a, a large number of patients who are put in the wastebasket who are uh, so-called atypical facial pains who are truly nervous intermediate neuralgia. We're seeing, we're understanding more about that all the time. This is a classification that was uh, recorded by Dr. Birchall, again showing the two features of typical, typical trigeminal neuralgia. And sometimes they may have, uh, the patients may have a good portion of the pain being constant. However, they have to have a, a, a predominant feature of their pain to be episodic and convulsive. We have simplified this a bit. Uh, there are people who are concerned from the uh, Trigeminal Neuralgia Face Pain Association about being dumped in the wastebasket of being of psychological origin. 